This is one of my favourite walks. We're going to go from Elterwater along the river to Skelleth Bridge, have a look at the falls, and then up Luffrig, via Luffrig Tarn, and over the old road towards Ambleside, and then up the fell, back down onto Luffrig Terrace, and then back over the fields onto Elterwater Common. It's a beautiful walk, so without further ado, it's going to be a nice day. Cap on, rug set ready. Check I want the car keys and they're not in the boot. And off we go. On second thoughts, it's a bit warm today. It's quite humid. I think it's cap off time. Get a bit of sun on my bald patch. From El to Water, I'm going to walk alongside the river to Skelleth Bridge. It's a delightful walk and you get this stunning view of the Langdale Pikes. And when we get near to Skelleth Bridge, we go through this gate for a stroll through the woods. We're going to go straight past the bridge and keep on this side of the river. And just a minute later, we arrive at Skelleth Force. A force is the Lake District name for a waterfall. This one is on the River Braithay, which drains both Great and Little Langdale. It's amazing to think that 15% of all the rain that falls in the Lake District ends up flowing through this 10 foot wide gap in the rock. Before meandering sedately down the Braithay Valley to Windermere. Right, can't spend all day looking at a waterfall. Time to move on. We're leaving Skelleth Bridge behind and starting to climb the fell. Time to put my cap on, I think. The modern A593 road runs through Skelleth Bridge. But we're taking the old road. 250 years ago, if you wanted to go from Skelleth Bridge to Ambleside, this was the way you went. There was no messing about following the course of the river. In those days, people just went straight over the fell. The modern course of the road means that little hamlets like this one are quite unspoiled. I'm just going to turn left here. There's a little view I want you to see. This is Luffrig Tarn. That's a charming scene. I say, steady on, old boy. Just going to nip over this style to get back on track. Try not to disturb the lambs. Just go through this gate and then turn left to get back on the old Skelleth Bridge to Ambleside track. It's a little bit steep up this short section, um, but it's not long before we'll reach a gate. And it becomes a little less steep and we actually get a few views over the side of the fell towards Windermere. So it's all in all very pleasant. I don't know whether it's something in the air, but I'm feeling really quite energetic today. A 
fine day on the fells and stunning views like that can really lift your spirits. The track to Ambleside crosses that stream, but I'm turning left to climb the fell. I'll assume those two are intending to start a family. I wonder if they know how many people come past that small pond every day. As you can see behind me, it's a very different landscape once you get up here. It doesn't matter what time of year you come up here, you know, it, this fell is always just uniquely beautiful. There's the top. I stopped for about 30 minutes for a brew, and in that time the sky has cleared entirely. It's absolutely glorious. Which is probably the best way of describing that view of the Langdales. Windermere looking absolutely stunning. That's Esthwaite Water, top left. And a super view of Grassmere and Dunmail Rays. In fact, that's the direction in which I'm heading, along that path and down towards Grassmere. Now I do freely confess that I always take my time on this descent. I tend to get distracted by the view. Not to mention the fact that it's really quite steep. All of which is my excuse for stopping a lot. Nice glimpse of rider water around the side of the fell. I'm not ashamed to say that that descent actually took me an hour and 20 minutes. Plus a piece of cake and a chocolate biscuit. And now there's some clouds starting to roll in again. Last week there were daffodils on the fell tops. This week we've got bluebells on the side of the fell. Right, the track forks just here. Um, left hand one goes up towards High Close Youth Hostel. This is the one we're taking, the right hand fork. If you take this walk, there's actually two points on this track where you could turn right. The difference between them is, the lower one has got a gate, whereas this one doesn't. So you want the one without the gate. It's a little bit further along this main path. It's fairly typical Lakeland weather today. We had a, a, a humid morning and it was beautiful, glorious on the top of the fell. Now it's turned a bit nippy, the clouds rolled in. And I'm, I was looking forward actually to getting back to Elta Water and having an ice cream. But now I'm really rather thinking a cup of tea is the order of the day. Having said all that, it's been an absolutely brilliant day. I mean, stunning views, wonderful walking country. I've met some really nice people, although I haven't shown any on the camera. I mean, what's not to like? Well, we're on the last leg now, up through this gate, and then we're on to Elter Water Common. You're lucky you've still got that nice view of Grassmere. I'm too short to see over the wall. Head down to the stepping stones. I've got a real spring in my step. Don't worry, I haven't gone totally mad. These are just the outward signs of mountain joy fever. It's caused by views like these. 